Hello everyone and welcome back to our Panama War. Uh, it's not the Panama War anymore though, right? So the in the last episode we have managed to finally win over the Central America HQ and with that also the Panama Canal that we're building now, which is going to take us quite some time. We should be able to finish this one in 106 weeks. Holy cow. We of course need to... Wait a second. What we should be doing is we should increase the infrastructure first. Right, so I'm going to move it all the way up there now. Alt and plus gives you the ability to move it to the number one in queue right away. We do need to do this because we need to get the infrastructure up so that the, the Panama Canal gets 100% market um, access and only then can we get all our construction capacity over. Meanwhile, my general has arrived now and has reinforced my northern front against Mexico. So we are standing now 147 against 82 and Mexico of course continues to fight even though they might lose this one. Why do they do this? Because basically we are having several states here now as my war goal, as my primary war goal, um, and they would lose uh, quite a bit with uh, with this war here. Nevada, New Mexico, California, and Arizona would all belong to us if we win this one. So that's why we are now going right deep into that and probably will also win. I don't see a reason why we should not win this. We got the numbers, we get the way better attack, and all of them are advancing the front now. Step by step, we're taking it over. Of course, the infamy penalty hopefully will go down again over time before anyone reacts. Partisan papers in the District of Columbia. Party-affiliated newspaper, off it goes. That was the election. 71 industrialists are still with us. Uh, unfortunately, no one still likes them. I cannot really boost my legitimacy too much here. And we just keep with the industrialists for now. Vacuum canning for the food industry. Oh, this sounds good. We need oil. We have that. Some iron and some more fish. And we'll get more groceries out there. Let's have a look. There it is, there it is, and it would net us 1,200 more groceries. Bear in mind, this would drop the price significantly and they would not be profitable anymore, most likely. So I'm not doing it for all of them, just for some of them again. So Louisiana, that's already a pretty good thing. And probably an also Rhode Island, that actually should make it complete then. A factory in New Jersey has been rocketed by a tremendous spoiler explosion with dozens dead or injured. The story of this tragedy has quickly become a national event. We could boost the industrialists. Price of progress. We could say the workers were exploited. The trade unions would gain bonus then. Also they would like it. Yeah, we would get the bonus back. The industrialists. We would not lose anything with them. The roll folk. We would also not gain anything. Let's go with the workers because this would give me... Um, once again, the bonus for the trade units plus five. There we have it. And this one gives me back my 10% manufacturing industries throughput. Right, somehow not continuing, right? Uh, do I have one of my... No idea why it's not moving right now. I mean, we do have the troops. It's a lot of territory here, as we can see. There is a bit more coming in now. Right now, it looks like we are losing, actually. Can't be the case. And there we have the next big one, the electric railways. This would give me now the opportunity of having the railways electrified, right? It would cost me... 1,000 electricity, I mean, we have 600 already, and it would give me 1,900 more infrastructure. I think we're just going ahead with this one. The only thing I will need to add now is a few more power plants, right, for the engines that it costs me. Engine price is pretty high, so once again, I need to also upgrade my, my engines there a bit. And I think with a bit of, uh, we have now a lot of infrastructure, right, 43, 40, 43, 4, 48... 48 as well here, 26. So that's what I'm talking about. Let's add some motor industries to these areas. And probably also will need a bit more steel, I think. The need for that is quite high after all. So I'm just going to expand here in Illinois, Michigan, and Ohio. Let's make it 10 in Ohio. And then, of course, more power plants. 
This is then once again for the engines that we have then in addition. Kansas, why is that so red here? What's the problem? We're using a lot of that now. I think the ports are not enough anymore. Could be. Each port adds 7-5 infrastructure. It should be more than that, actually. Because we're boosting it with the, the ships. The industrial port bonus. I'm just going to ramp it up there for these. And if it's not enough, then we will have to just stick it with the railway too. Texas especially. Very important. We do need a new tack. Have a look around. Vulcanization would be very fast. The elastics for the textile mill, another boost to my cloth production. We could also get another the another boost here for my barracks and the conveyor technology. Or we have a look at the military tech right away because I think we definitely should also work on that at some point. A war exhaustion from casualties within 15 months. I think this is pretty good. For this war it will not help anymore, but I think exhaustion, if that would go down a bit f uh, slower, it would be better. Right, because look at that. I mean, we're catching up now, right? So they're getting closer to us. But war exhaustion is pretty high now on both sides. I think they will reach 100 though earlier. And Brazil gave up. Brazil is no longer in the war. So they're losing quite a lot of troops now. And this should speed up the advancement there. As they also lose now the southern border here against us. And now the war exhaustion will go beyond... Hours. Pretty lengthy war that was then. I mean, it's still ongoing. And look at that. We can see a lot of devastation on the map. As there was the fighting. There was very fierce fighting here. And for the first time also, my troops see the western coast. Right? So California is coming up here. As we're moving in. Taking it over, hopefully. Also, Ecuador gives up, so all the allies of Mexico are now backing off. There's still El Salvador, and then Mexico and Honduras, of course, only left. I mean, we are actually fighting against Mexico the whole time. Honduras down here <laughs> does not have any reason why it should be the war leader. I guess it was because of the Panama Canal, but even then we were actually fighting New Granada. El Salvador gives up now. Come on, just give up in total. Very good. We do get in Wyoming a free university. <laughs> I don't like the look of my balances there. Increase the taxes. Uh, Radicals is going down right now, so it's fine. 93, war exhaustion. Come on, do something here. There is no big war anymore. We're fighting a few troops. And we should see a lot of new blue paint. Honduras gave up. It's now against Mexico only. Oh, okay. There's a new score, but it's also very bad for them. As we can see, we got one, two, three, four, five fronts right now. As we're taking over basically the whole of Mexico. It has been suggested that a prefabricated hospital be constructed and then transported to just behind the front lines um, to help treat the wounded. We get 10% recovery rate. And Intelligentsia have expressed their concerns about government decisions clearly favoring the interests of the industrialists. This needs to be addressed. Uh, this would actually be... Okay, we could do this. Yep. Because we are pretty high with the industrialists anyway. So it doesn't really matter to us. And there it is. Capitulation. We also finished the Manifest Destiny that we had for a long time. And we get four new states into the United States of America. And with that, we have now a West to East Coast connection. Hooray, I should say. That was very exhaustive. Holy cow, that was a long war. And we have arrested control of the American Southwest from the illegitimate clutches of Mexico. The United States of America now stretches from the Atlantic to the Pacific. 
and this was our destiny. And California, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, New Mexico becomes the Dixie and Yankee homeland. And with that, we take it over. I just have a quick look at, I think, especially California. This is going to be one of our primary powerhouses. We have 159 arable lands, so there's plenty of fertile area here, especially for cotton and livestock. Lots of uh, resources like sulfur and iron mine. 300,000 people in though, that's not that much. So, and yeah, there we can see the Central Valley gives me an agricultural throughput, quite a lot of that too. So here we can go with fabric, we can go crazy on this. Livestock for fertilizers and meat, so we have plenty of that, and then wheat farm for the grain, and of that we always need something. Let's just start, you know, this this, uh, this state here. Let's build up some basic infrastructure, also government administration and university. And then probably also a port here to get access to the Pacific Ocean and some naval bases and barracks. By the way, do we get a new headquarter? Yep, the Pacific Coast headquarters you also get with that. Of course, it's going to take a while for this because we got, as we can see, lots of devastation here. Phoenix is pretty much under fire. And we can see this here too, devastation. It's going down now, however, right? So this is going to take a while. Also, the turmoil is going down equal to the devastation then. And once this has fully recovered, we can then really get profit out of these here. Arizona has gold deposits, for example, available to us. So that should help us out there. Alrighty. Also, Panama Canal, 29 weeks. And map the Western Frontier, please don't. I need to finish this expedition. I cannot, I cannot do anything else if I can't do that. Hmm... They're all experts, yet we always fail with them. Yeah, some terrain visibility. We don't have an explorer per se right now. I'm probably going with Daniel. Let's try it out again. Nevada has seven gold fields. That's also really cool. But lots of devastation. By the way, we could also... Incorporate these states then. Uh, 24 for New Mexico, ooh, 50 for Arizona, 68 for California, and 28 for Nevada. But with that, we would have them all then in the states incorporated as well, which is further helping to reduce the turmoil. Next up, we have the Panama Canal. One more week, and then it is completed right beside Panama City. Uh, it's looking nice and dandy. There we have it now, really, a big building popping up here in the canal. And there it is built, Panama Canal. And do we get anything out of that? Constructed. And we also need to have an occupancy of greater than 90%. There's actually some ships getting out now. Um, and let's just check it out quickly. I think it's going to take a while before this is getting fully staffed, as we can see now. Um, going to take a while. It also consumes me some coal and tools. That is, of course, always a bit of a tricky thing, because it <laughs> we are very short on that. Also, yeah, I do get 100 prestige out of that. And... 100 urbanization, so 10% prestige are being con uh, being produced here, kind of like, but the canal itself also gives me 100 prestige. And let's just check it out. We are now number three. We are in the top three. We're in the big player game now. <laughs> and as I can see, though, France is just crazy. What is happening with France? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, it is extremely successful in colonizing Africa, as it should be. And though this, I think, is all desert. Yeah, it is all desert. I mean, the only thing you ki kind of get out of it is probably coal, some iron mines, and oil once they unlock it. Uh, it seems like France has not unlocked oil yet. And yeah, but that's still pretty big, right? We are also here in the Congo. The Congo is good. It has malaria. That is bad. But it is um, giving me a lot of wood that we can get out of this one here um, that is not finished yet. There we have it, 10 for example. Rubber plantations, very important for us, as rubber becomes more important once we get the automobiles. And yeah, some plantations there, and that's that. It's still very slowly developing though, right? So Africa is hotspot though still. Um, and then we also got Mauritania over there. And in Southeast Asia, yep, also here in New Guinea, we are further expanding in inland, right? The next patch is now going to be completed. Inefficient agriculture. Industrialists have started complaining about the existence of subsidence farms. Vulcanization in Delaware stating that their undeniable inefficiency should be addressed immediately. And we do get some... Yeah, because there is a lack of workforce. And we do get 25% migration attraction out of this. 
or we do lose with the industrialists. No, that doesn't sound right. And we look at, this is pretty important here. So with a rubber in addition, we can then produce luxury clothes in textile mills. We also get the bicycle messenger <laughs> for the barracks. So the bicycle messengers are ri ri riding around the battlefield. And another attack that is being unlocked in another road. This was a passive research though. So nothing we can do there. Local river banks have burst in Iowa, destroying homes and taking lives. And 42,000 government expenses for five years for only saving 15% of devastation. I'm not doing this. This is way too expensive for still having a huge amount of devastation. I cannot afford that. So we're, we're, not, we're absolutely not doing this. Oh, these are now fully staffed here. And my die is looking fantastic. Does it have? It has 100% American market access. So whatever we produce here is immediately available on my on my general market, more or less. By the way, also just crazy how much infrastructure we have now in states like Pennsylvania or Virginia because of our increased um, port capacity and our railway system that is now electrified as well. So this is um, <laughs> a, a very nice uh, boost overall. Um, I think though what we still need here is some more engines and a bit more electricity, but it's not much. And we should also have a very high transportation capacity with that 4,000. Now what we can use this for is um, in our transportation capacity here, we can say we want to ship those workers with trains over and that will reduce the worker workforce because we can, you know, use them much more, much faster. Um, and I guess that is the logic behind it. Seems like it. However, it consumes, of course, lots of transportation, but we would save a lot of laborers, for example, in my coal mines. There is a huge boost for that. I think that's a good idea. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's also change my coal mines to publicly funded. What else can we do here? Uh, nope, that's not it. And dynamite. Yeah, the, the explosives. I could use that on some, on some of my mines, right? So getting a bit of more coal out of it for free, more or less. And I think in Virginia, yes, that would be the biggest boost here. And let's also do this for Virginia. Should also give me a nice boost in income there to my coal mines. Holy cow. Yes, it is. And we are producing some sexy, some sexy coal with that now in addition. This will, of course, drop the price. Hopefully not too low because my coal mines can actually stay profitable if I like to. There we have it. Also, houseware plastics for the glassworks. This should make things a bit more interesting. We do need so much glass. It's insane. Uh, not only for our construction, but also for the households, right? So for all our urban centers, they always need glass. And since we're building industry constantly and we're growing constantly, we also need to get more glass constantly because we have more and more urban centers sprawling around. We can check this out rather here. For example, in Texas, we got a level 10 urban center. And this one here is actually not consuming anything right now because it has vacancies so we do lack a, a lot of jobs in a lot of states at the moment um, and this is where our transportation network comes in because the more transportation we have the more workforce we can save and the more workforce we can also distribute among our states um, at least that is my my go here uh, before we go into the glassworks let's just go for a new research there is for example the electric arc now okay with some electricity we can boost our steel mills this sounds pretty good to me mm, mechanized farming would be something construction sector boost that we have where was the there's the combustion engine so this unlocks me the automobile uh, production and but that's it right oh also a new production method for all my mines by using a bit of oil we save coal and also boost its output this is also a really cool one because coal, uh, oil is of course uh, the future and down here we have the oil turbine but that is still six years away and that is the one that we need for the power plants um so let's just go for something that we can actually afford I'm, I'm totally in the production by the way so we are not really focusing a lot in society um i think the the productions are just so much more interesting at the moment. This one actually we need for the women's suffrage, right? The feminism. Let's unlock this one first. It's very short, really, um, so that we can finally enable this law there as well. I mean, yeah, we're, we're a bit early for that, but it's it's fine, I think. And unused production we have. Yes, of course. Let's go ahead and have a look at my at my latest bonus now. By the way, how's New York looking? Yeah, it has connected now over there on Staten Island. It is now one complete city right and it's of course still continuing to grow um and then we do have it there the houseware plastics oh 2000 whale i mean we are nowhere close to that and a bit of lead to produce 4000 more glass i mean we don't need that much i can actually go in and have it just for some of them ohio for example has a 16 level one this would probably be enough already 
Um, let's go ahead with this. It will probably be not be super efficient right now because oil, as we can see, is gold price now because it has skyrocketed in demand. Um, it's still making a profit though here. Um, but other than that, we are also not positive on the glass market. That is another good achievement, but of course we do need way more oil. We have the oil rigs. Unfortunately, <laughs> we have no workers here. This is a bit of a problem. Let's have a look. For using a bit more transportation, we can save a lot of workforce with using tanker cars. I would like to do this. It also costs me engines. No one said that. Did anyone say that this costs me engines? Apparently it does. And... Uh, let's not make them publicly traded yet. They're making a nice profit though, right? 5,000 there at the moment with producing a bit of oil um, and adding a lot of urbanization. Though we do need way more workforce here. It's crazy. Capitalists, okay. Laborers are... We need still 35,000 laborers. We do have so much transportation on the market, so I would like to also save more. So, for example, we do have... Let's check it out. In, in Texas itself some sulfur mines so by enabling rail transportation we do save another 11,000 laborers for that and I think I mean, can we check at a glance where most laborers are employed I think it's my wheat farms for sure we do have a lot of wheat farms but I cannot use transportation for them oh with just a tiny bit of coal and tools I can drastically re reduce the amount of laborers in the wheat farms and we got a lot of livestock ranches so anything here would be much appreciated electricity for electrical wires we could do this for saving 200,000 laborers in in total but do this right now i mean the price for electricity obviously will go up quite a bit but it should still be fine and we do save all that that workforce right we have a, a drastic labor problem though throughout the states this is where transportation should help us out um by the way we're building some tool workshops right now motor industry we do need also more power plants right I, I absolutely do miss them right now and we do have nice infrastructure throughout the united states so we can go ahead and build quite a few of them in georgia let's build 10 in connecticut let's also build 10 to further boost my my electricity but of course the major problem is workforce this is also where women suffrage should come in handily because it should give us a bit more workforce because women can work in more places yes there we have it women in workplaces 10 percent workforce ratio but we do lose some birth rate and women's suffrage gives me the highest workforce ratio there in addition so that should help us out a bit Okay, another thing is, of course, now our latest research, the coal-fired power plant, right? So by using 3,700 more coal, we could get 3,700 more um, electricity out. So quite a nice boost. And with electricity, once again, we can boost on the productivity of our other industries. However, what we can also see is we do not have enough qualification um, to fully staff the power plants. We do have really a worker problem at the moment throughout my industry um, and we really need to tackle this by just basically enabling more mm, more transportation throughout the states but also by making states more attractive that is um, getting some service buildings up there and running. So the iron mines we have a lot of them right so we can save another 70,000 workforce here by just using a bit more rail transportation the same goes with the lead mines so that's another 888,000 and we still have 2,000 transportation left we definitely should use all of what we have possible here that's a bit of a minor boost for the gold mines of course saving the workforce also increases um the profitability of these uh productions in general so that's something to keep in mind uh, cotton plantations 91,000 laborers we can save up with that oh logging camp should be a big one and we can use the 840 transportation to save 160 laborers for the logging camps. This will be, this should really have an impact, a massive impact in general on this. We could save even more by using more coal. But I think since the price of coal is really high. And yeah, just in general, we're going to see how it turns out then with getting rid of all that labor. We can also see we have a, a total population of 15 million for, uh, that's laborers, right? Only, yeah. And 15 million uh, they are and most of them are also in the trade unions and the royal folk for example but i think i cannot really see where most of that or where most of the jobs are open so i can see where um i do have my my laborers of course right so we do have 
I can see the general uh, the general population there, but the labors themselves, they are here, the 15 million that we have. We can see that then per state as well. But other than that, I cannot really see where they are situated right now or where... Oh, there it is, unemployment rate. Kansas, 10,000, for example. Texas, 14? Doesn't sound right. Hmm. Very strange. Uh, we'll we'll find it out there, I guess, at some point. Uh, campaign financing. No, I'm not going to finance the campaign of any political party. It's way too expensive at this point. We are also not really in the in the in the position of of doing this, as we are very deep red. Of course, power plants do cost a lot, so this is where the primary um, expenses are in right now. I could consider raising the prices or the taxes that once more, since radicalization. Yeah, it's it's bad actually. We do need to, to be careful there with radicalization. We still have 4 million gold left, so let's just wait it out there for the power plants to finish and then the prices should go up again. Okay, we do have um, California. That is the big new addition. Um, but we do have now a huge workforce problem throughout the states that we do need to tackle somehow by enabling more transportation, in general, better infrastructure overall, getting that um, those vacancies away from my factories because this is a huge bummer to my productivity right now. Stay tuned.